Hello everyone, this is Natalie from NellieDesign.com. Do you know how to make a low-cost shadow box? I always like to save as much as possible and I'll show you all my tips and especially how to make spacers without having to buy tons of foam board. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and especially to give this video a thumbs up. So let me start by showing you Sea Salt and Sapphire um, shop on Design Bundle site. Um, I really like her, honestly. I've talked to her because we're, we're preparing something a little special that will be coming soon. But what I want to show you is all, all the beautiful files that she has. And the one I'm, I chose is this gnome that I'm going to be making. And it's very fun to do so you can see how it looks close up and that's exactly what we're going to do so once you buy it you add it to cart and you buy it you're going to be able to find it if you go later you're going to be able to find it in your purchases so going into your purchases here is mine i also bought the baby fox and the nutcracker so for the gnome you're going to go and download files and you're going to see here that opens a zip file so you click on it and it opens right here and let me show you in the folder so in the folder you have a zip file and here you need to right click and extract all so i'm not going to browse i'm just going to extract it right here so you need to save it on your computer or someplace that you're going to find it for later and someplace you're going to find it when we go and browse from design space but for now i just want to show you what's inside she has a dxf the aps but what we're looking for is the svg file the other thing she has is those two PDFs, you won't be needing them because they are for people who wants to print them and cut them by hand. I really don't want to do this. I'm really happy I have a Cricut. So, uh, and last, there's this assembly instruction. And let me show you how it looks. It is very nice. It is so detailed. Seriously, you can't go wrong following this. And I will go, it will tell you all the layers you're going to have and then you can see how to assemble them so she's telling you to you need to assemble these layers together and then add the beard and the hat of the gnome to end up with this layer so it's very easy to follow and uh, you need to put those little mushrooms up top up there and she explains everything and at the end right here you have all where the spacers needs to be so I'm going to show you also how you can follow for this on Design Space. You'll see it's very easy to follow and so fun to do, seriously. <laughs> so another thing I want to show you is what I bought is those frames from Ikea. They seem to be new here in Canada. I don't know about you where you are. Hopefully you have them too, but they are $4.99 for in Canadian dollars. So they were very cheap for me and they are awesome. And what it says, it says that they are nine and three quarter. So if you go here and you check your product size, it says that a picture without the mat is nine and three quarter also. So what we're going to do, we're going to be making the gnome at this exact size. So let's go into design space. Here we are. So we're going to upload and you're going to find the image where you saved it before, as I always say. <laughs> so for me, it's right here. We're going to open it and save it select it and insert images so that's easy and now we are like i said now we're at 7.9 but we need it to fit in our frame or whatever frame you have you're going to need to scale it if you want so me it's nine and three quarters so 9.75 and my lock is lock so i'm going to click enter and it just scaled proportionately and honestly, I don't we don't really have anything else to do because there's no score line, there's no attached, there's no nothing. So that's what I like about it. And if you look at closely, well, not closely, but if you look at it, you'll see that the snowflakes are all different colors. Well, I am going to cut them all white, but uh, I think it's really helpful to see them like that way because you know that the pink here goes with the pink snowflakes right here and that the yellow layer that you see at the bottom right here will go with the yellow snowflakes what i mean is that it won't go with it but it's the same layer so you really know that these little mushrooms are with the 
the snowflakes. So you see them right here. So I think it helps to see what goes with what, but a part of that, I'm going to cut them white anyway. So the only thing I want to show you when you hit make it, they're all going to be on one layer depending on their color. And that's fine, except for one thing. I like to save. So there is no way for me that I'm going to cut this beard on a paper alone when I have other white layers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move object and I'm going to choose one that has space inside. Let's say that this one, even though it's blue, I know I'm going to cut it white and I'm going to place my the beard of the gnome right here. So I save a bit, at least one sheet of paper. So once this is done, I'm going to hit continue. And what I suggest you do is select cardstock for intricate cuts. What this is going to do is that it's going to pass twice. So it's going to put a little less pressure, but it's going to go over it twice, making the little snowflakes. They are all very detailed, uh, making a better cut with them. So we're going to select this and make sure you make a test cut. You don't want to have to go over it with your utility knife. It's very long. So make sure your cut is totally perfect before you go on and cut everything. So let's go and cut it. So once everything is cut, we must first locate the gray layer for the gnome and the layer of the snowflakes, which has two snowflakes at the top and a mushroom at the bottom. This layer should be glued over the gnome. The beard and the hat are also very easy to assemble by following the instruction in the PDF. Next, identify the largest red piece of the three mushrooms. This is the one that goes on the gnome's layer. Finally, just add the details to the gnome as shown in the instructions. The other two red parts of the mushrooms are also easy to spot. So what I want to show you is that the layer panel can really help you know which layer that goes first. So the designer really put them in the right order so that you can see them here perfectly. But also if you want to assemble them, you just click on the eye so they're all close. And we're going to go down at the last one and we're going to pile them on our desk following this. So pretty easy. First, yellow. Second, the stars. And then we're going to go with the snowflakes and the both of the trees. So it's really easy to follow because you need to have the exact same pattern on your desk. So you continue like this. And now the next one is the gnome. Of course, if you followed the instruction, you needed to put the beard, the hat and everything on the gnome before continuing and also gluing it to this layer. So we're going to continue with this one. And of course, we already have all of this that is on the gnome. And finally, the last two layers are the snowflakes and the cover. So oh, I think I forgot the nose. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> so it's really easy to follow when you go like this. And then we're going to be putting it in the frame and adding the spacers. So let's go and do it. For the spacers, the instructions suggest cutting frames from foam board, which means a lot of foam board would be needed and there would be a lot of waste as well, which I don't like very much. <laughs> so I, instead, I cut strips of foam board around 5 millimeters wide in some leftovers that I already had. I took the trouble of measuring everything, but honestly, you can't see them, so it doesn't really matter if they're not all the same width. Then we start the layering. I installed the glass at the bottom of the frame. Remember to remove the protective film. The first two layers don't have a spacer, so I decided to glue them together. The first spacers are between the second and third layers. 
So flat on my table, I glued the strips of foam board around the entire perimeter of the third layer without putting them completely to the edge. I even used the small leftover pieces. No waste. And hop, we put the layer in the frame. And we continue to add the spacers as it says in the instruction. For the last spacer, I did cut a frame, as suggested, so that I could wrap the LED string light all around. After the layer were installed, I checked if I needed to add a spacer to fill the gap, but it wasn't necessary as I was able to fold the metal pieces back. So all that remains to cut the corner of the back of the frame, and if you're like me and you get the wrong corner, well, it's okay, just cut the other corner also. For this kind of project, I tend to say that the Cricut has the biggest job, but the result is so beautiful. For the link to the SVG files, see the description of this video and don't forget to put a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.